hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel and uh, i hope everyone is doing well today i'm making a video regarding oci card how we apply for oci card for our baby boy who born in canada so in today's video i will explain all the process from starting to the end so first of all we have to search for oci card You will see the first link visit on it and you will be able to see the details on this page as well OCI registration this is we have to proceed this is inquiry if you already applied what's the benefit for this so let's proceed we can check here some of details as well this is the requirements for the picture after registration we can check the status inquiry reprint all details you can find on this page so we have to fill this all block letters and for the minor child don't have to signature his her left thumb impression may be placed in the signature box the parents will not sign the documents we required those we will discuss later So we are going to fill the new application. This is if you already filled half of the application, you can bring this application back with the application number. So for us is new application number. So this application is very small and very simple. and which office you have to send that make sure you go on BLS Center website that will show you which location we have to send that we will talk later when we will be on that website so I am in British Columbia so mine is Vancouver so these are all the details we have to fill the the passport is necessary for the child this is the parents details so when you will fill all the details applicant information family information passport information and the address if you see anything is wrong here you can hit on modify and change it if everything is correct then submit it make sure you note down your file reference number
that you needed. And you are ready with image. Say yes. If not, then exit. Keep remember this number and we'll use to bring it back here. So choose your photo. This is the requirement. Take a print for this PDF. Show to any photo studio and they will print you two photos. And you need the digital copy as well to upload here and the printed copies we need to send in an envelope two copies for those and another one is the signature so for the minor child have to just upload the thumb impression that I will let you know later when we'll be on the BLS website we need to do the left thumb impression for the child or the right one so this is the form after attaching a photo and a thumb impression for the child it looks like this all the same details and you have to just save this form there will be a question number 17 relationship with the root Indian so this is a question asking how he linked to India. So he link from the parents. So here mother or father, anyone of can come if they're both Indians. And let's talk about uh, the documents requirement. So the current passport is for the child and current passport for both of the parents. And third one is employer or work ladder. That's optional, no problem. And we can attach our PR card as well with the passports. Relationship certificate is the child birth certificate that will show mother and father both names on that. And the last is marriage certificate. All the documents have to attest it if the documents belongs to father he have to attest it the belongs to mother she have to attest it and for the child documents any one of have to attest it the person used to sign in the form the same person will sign on the child documents as well that's very important to do the self-attested all the documents and this is the part B comes when you already upload the photo and the thumb impression. Almost all questions is no. Go through with all of them. Very general question. So date and method of acquisition of present nationality by birth, child born in Canada and details of family members, relatives who are staying in India. So my parents, his grandparents, names and address and the relationship comes here. All is very simple questions. Any criminal record, the name and then no. And the same form brings the declaration after printing the form so here comes the child name and date and the place where you are right now and the signature of the applicant have to come the thumb impression for the child so make sure you take two three print out where it's very hard to get the thumb impression from the child and we are filling application for the minor child so here one of the parents name comes here date place 
and signature of the parents so one person any one of them and the same person sign here and the name comes here he will do the self-attested the child documents as well this is just the details of the form so we don't need that and we don't have to send it only three pages need to send for the courier the remaining is just the information so i will put the link in my video description as well so here you can see which office we have to submit the first application you have to visit on this website as well to check the location you comes under so i am in british columbia which one comes to you it's all the same thing proceed with that so for me british columbia i will proceed from here here you can see the oci card click on that here you can get all the information the same information which one we see on the first web child website the same you can find here but here we can find the thumb impression left hand thumb impression for boys and right hand thumb impression for girls this information we will find here so that you have to do on those forms application fee for the OCA card 341 plus four dollars the surcharge so 345 dollars and the processing fee for the BLS seven dollars and forty cent total for that and how we go pay if we are going person you can pay from debit card or cash but if you are sending by postal by courier then you have to make a draft you can visit any bank and ask them to make a draft for that total amount don't add the courier fees here courier fees we will pay separate so you will make the draft as the name of BLS International Services Canada INC and that we will put in envelope to send with the courier and documents requirement here you have to just print the checklist you already did the same documents print out and we did the self-attested same documents we have to put in the envelope with the checklist checklist is very simple so documents have to just tick on this take a printout and tick on that application form tick on it which one documents you are sending tick on that so Indian passport this is for the child so don't tick on this you have Canadian passport so here you have to take on F Canadian passport self-attested copy by the parents proof of address you can attach any of your ID that will work fees yes photograph yes two photo we have to attach just put it in the envelope application for reissue just leave this blank the b option and comes to c for the minor child so birth certificate yes consent of both parents this is non-objection letter I will attach the letter in video description just download from there and the parents have to fill that form attach a photo signature put it in the envelope like the parents don't have any problem to applying for OCI card for the minor child you're taking the decision for the child parents passport copy self attested yes marriage certificate take on that and the C leave it blank and the D leave it blank 
so uh, the here name of the applicant CANO number is application number that the application be printed BLS Central Bank over date that's it just print only the first page the remaining pages is only the information so you don't need to print out that so that's it when it's done get all documents in a envelope with the photo and those documents we discussed already and the sample form is this which the work we just did it I shows you the same and when you will send your documents after a week you can check the status for the application on the both website you can go the same website BLS check the status for OCI they will mention they already sent the documents to the office for the processing your OCI card like this and you can check the OCI inquiry on the first website the link is in description it will give you the information what's happening with the application it will show like this so when you are you can see three dates that means your OCI card is printed and then again you can try to check on the BLS website as well it will shows you your OCI card is already sent it by courier because we are going to book the both side courier these documents we don't have to send it to BLS no need to send it to anybody when you're choosing the both way courier it will work automatically for us it took month and half to process now we comes to the here you can see the processing time shows different six to eight weeks exactly same it took for us month and a half and forms you can upload the forms non-objection letter from here as well link will be in the description that's it you need it only non-objection from here no any one of them so now go to the schedule and appointment so if you want to book for the book your poster we'll do this first because i'm going to send by poster make sure you book for both way courier not the one way it will be more expensive proceed with that after everything ready this is the work you have to do because it will ask you to choose a date when you want the courier person to pick up from you and for us it's cost $90 number of applicant one service OCI like this it will show you the same office as well which one we already know which one we have to do it fill all the details here the name here the name comes for the child the name passport number the address everything and drop off addresses when you will get your courier back and after filling all the information the second option is just proceed for the payment and that's done for you for the sending the courier and receiving it back I'm not going to fill it to save the time and if you want to visit in the office same way take that all papers on the appointment date and you you don't need to make a draft then just pay your fees when you are in the office fill all the location so you going to Vancouver office service type OCI
it's taking little longer because it has to show us the appointment date available So after filling all the details and choose a date and visit on the date after you submit here you will get the confirmation by email and visit the day and time which one you choose like this all dates is showing full here is one available in sixth but it's good to send it by courier slot full almost all full in september if we go in october there's a lot of dates choose any one of them here's the timing what time prefer for you and same way you can fill and submit confirmation will get by email thank you so much for watching our video if you need any help regarding application please let me know i will try my best to help you as soon as possible and uh, Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and it can help to grow our channel as well. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Thanks for watching our video.